Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to model your microbot in RoboDK. MicroBot Pi is an affordable 6-axis cobot from Elephant Robotics which runs on Raspberry Pi. I recently received mine but before using it for any applications I wanted to simulate it in a safe environment. For the simulation I chose RoboDK which is a very easy to use simulation software. But although it has a huge library of different robots, it doesn't contain my cobot yet. So to begin with, we'll need the 3D model of the robot. You can find it at this link. Link is in the description. I have downloaded the 3D model and now I'll load it into RoboDK. It will take a few seconds for loading the model. Once the 3D model has loaded, we can proceed with modeling the mechanism. Click on Utilities, then on Model Mechanism or Robot. Next, click on 6-axis collaborative robot. But before starting to model, we'll need to adjust the original model so that it looks the same as the image on right. So let me split the model and show you all the individual joints. As you can see, the original 3D model does not have the 6th joint, so I made my own with SOLIDWORKS. I have already modified the original 3D model to suit the robotic environment. Now you can see that my 3D model's orientation matches with the image on the right. I have split the modified model and prepared it for turning it into a robot mechanism. Now, once we open our build mechanism toolbox, we can see that the section for frame and all the joints are pre-filled. Now the next step is to fill in the robot parameters. You can find these parameters on the official website. Let me open the two windows side by side. So starting with D1, it is the distance between the base and joint 2's axis. A3 is the distance between joint 2 and joint 3. A4 is the distance between joint 3 and joint 4. D5 is the distance between joint 4 and joint 6. Now going to the vertical axis, D4 is the distance between joint 1 and joint 5. And lastly, D6 is the distance between joint 5 and joint 6. Let's update and check if our model is accurate. Starting with joint 1. We can see that joint 5 and joint 6 have some offset. Sometimes it can happen if there is a difference between the given dimensions and the actual 3D model. Also it could be due to the changes I made when modifying the model. In any case we can adjust the robot parameters. We need to adjust D5 and D6. With some trial and error we can adjust these parameters. Once we have adjusted the parameters, we can check our robot model again. We can now proceed to naming our robot. I'll name it MyCobotPy. Next, we need to set the joint limits. To start with, the website gives us the joint limits for J1. For the other joints, I have entered them manually. For joint 5, I check the joint limit on my actual robot. For joint 6, I need it to have infinite rotation, so I'll enter a high value for the limits. That's it, we are done. We can now proceed to saving the model as a .robot file by right-clicking on the updated mechanism. You can find the link to the robot file in the description. In the upcoming videos, I'll show you some demo applications on how to simulate MyCobotPy in RoboDK. Thank you for watching.